What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Hill Balor, and I am your co-host for the Losers Lounge podcast. I'm here with my good friends, Ryan. How's it going, everyone? And our other good friend, Kelsey. Hey, what's up? And we are here to discuss the greatest Royal Rumble predictions, and this is a show that I'm actually looking forward to. How about you guys? Uh, I am definitely, uh, I definitely think this can be a very good match card, um, uh, very good event, uh, so Greatest Royal Rumble in Saudi Arabia, I believe for the first time ever, I think, so hopefully it's a good one. I'm really excited, I feel like it's gonna be good, people are like, oh, it's not gonna be good, because there's no women, I'm like, basically there's no women on the show. perfectly fine. Yeah. I understand why there's no women. Because, you know... Yep. I just man. found that out, like, yesterday. Like, I just realized there was no women on the matches. Like, yep. that was shocking. <laughs> Very shocking. Anyways, uh, Ryan, what match are we starting off with? Alrighty. So, I believe so far, uh, nine matches. Because um, we still don't know about the Cruiserweight Championship match. Um, but we're going to go with nine matches as of now. So, the first match that we're going to start off with is the SmackDown Tag Team Titles with the Usos taking on the Bludgeon Brothers. So, uh, starting off, uh, Willie, what is your thoughts on this match? Uh, Well, since we're like two weeks removed from WrestleMania 34, uh, build-up hasn't really been great, I guess. I really haven't been paying attention to SmackDown because it's really been bad as of late. But, um... These two teams can do pretty good. They actually had a very good match back in 2014. I think it was at Money in the Bank. And, yeah. Um, very good match. It was when they were Harper and Rowan, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, and it was just when they weren't rap, rapping people. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that actually had a very good match. And this time around, I'm really looking forward to this match. Um, high expectations, probably. Big Usa fan right here, guys. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Kelsey, what about you? Um, well... I think this will be a good match. I mean, both both teams are amazing. I don't know. I kind of just, I kind of hope, like, I don't know. Part of me wants the Bludgeon Brothers to retain because the Usos, you know, they've had they've had their run with the titles. They don't need them. They don't need them again, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like the match will be good, though, even though it, I hope it's not a squash match because that would suck. I yeah. Bet. Hopefully not. Because um, you know how the Bludgeon Brothers have been just destroying people in like five minutes. So. Yeah, that's true. I noticed that. Um, Dominating force. Yeah. And definitely a lot, treat, treated a lot better than, you know, than before. I think, um, I think they definitely deserved the SmackDown tag titles. I think it was overdue. And hopefully, and you know, Harper and Rowan, um, and the Usos, they've had very good chemistry, of course, in the past, and they still do now. Um, True. But I noticed the SmackDown Live tag division is very stacked at the moment, especially after the Superstar Shakeup. So I'm definitely excited to see what future matches we have in the tag division. But definitely, I think this is going to be a very good match. But of course, I think it's pretty predictable that Harper and Rowan are going to retain the SmackDown tag titles. But overall, I think it's going to be a great match. Well, I think it's winning. Um, I'm going to go with the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, so okay. Probably good. Okay. Bludgeon yep. Brothers, yeah. Okay, that was my fault. Sorry about that. This is our first time doing this as a threesome. threesome. So, <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the gentleman. If you're uh, if you're ten years you're, ten years or under, uh, you shouldn't probably watch this podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So that was my fault. Uh, sorry, guys. All right. So obviously, all three of us are going with the Bludgeon Brothers. All right. Yep. Then the next match is for the vacant raw tag team titles and so we got bray wyatt and matt hardy taking on the bar sheamus and cesaro willie uh what are your thoughts on this match i don't really care the stupid bray wyatt matt hardy thing is running its course ended already and there's really nothing to do with the bar they're already on smackdown live as of last week with the superstar shake up and uh i'm not really looking forward to this match at all that's my words and that's my thoughts on it yeah see what about you Eh, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like it could be a good match. It's just, I know, obviously, Matt and Bray are going to win because they're on, because the bar is on SmackDown, and that would be weird if they 
kick the Raw titles to SmackDown, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be very weird. I, feel like, I don't know. I feel like it will be a good match, though, no matter, even though I'm not really, like, that excited for it. But, you know. Yeah. I honestly, I mean, I think this is really another predictable match. Probably maybe the most predictable out of the night. Um, this is the most predictable. But, favorite, yeah, I mean, this. Cesaro and Sheamus have already held the Raw Tag Titles like three times, so I mean, there's really no need for them to win to win it uh, win it again. Nope, no so, yeah. And plus, they're on SmackDown zero sense. Most definitely. Yeah. All right. Stupid. So, uh, for our predictions for this Raw Tag Team Title matchup, Willie, who do you got? Going with Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. So obvious. Yep. Kelsey. Matt and Bray. Same here. Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy will delete the bar. (laughs) 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 Alright, so. so. Yes, alright, so all three of us are going for Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. I mean, I definitely think that's a very cool uh, tag team. And so, uh, going on to the next match. (laughs) Man, I think it's been a while since we've seen one of these matches. But we got a casket match with The Undertaker. Taking on Rusev, and by the way, happy Rusev Day to you guys. Happy Rusev Day to you too, brother. Happy Rusev Day to you too. <laughs> Same. <laughs> All right, so, um, Willie, what are your thoughts on this casket match? Uh, well, originally it was supposed to be Chris Jericho in the spot. Yeah. Because Lana did some stupid shtick on Twitter. But now Rusev's back in. And I'm, I'm looking forward to this match. As we saw The Undertaker at WrestleMania 34, he squashed John Cena. In a very good match. In a very interesting match, by the way. Take a look pretty good. He was moving well. Didn't look like he lost his step. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really thinking he's going to show us a little bit more of his interesting side in this match. I mean, Rusev is probably going to carry him mostly. But um, it's going to be a good match. It's going to be a good match. Not the outcome people are going to want, but it's going to be a good match. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, Kelsey, uh, what are your thoughts on this? casket match i'm excited i i part of me wishes like that they would have like just left chris jericho in and added rusev in it well that didn't that wouldn't make sense because how would they never mind i feel like this match will be really good i'm excited to see rusev versus the undertaker it's rusev's isn't it rusev's first time facing the undertaker yeah i believe so i feel like it'll be so, so good like rusev will like he will do so good against the Undertaker, and yeah. honestly, I can't wait. And to all the people who are complaining on social media, oh, Rusev's getting buried because it's a casket match. You're in the ring with the Undertaker. You're in the ring with a legend. It, very, very few superstars can say that they've been yeah. in the ring with the Undertaker. Not a whole lot right. can say that. That's a privilege, okay, guys? Yeah. Even if you get beat by the Undertaker, that's a privilege. Uh, I'm sure, like Rusev. I'm sure Rusev is is excited to face the Undertaker. So like, everybody can shut up, uh-huh. please. Let alone, I actually predicted. Um, I actually predicted that we would see Rusev versus the Undertaker at WrestleMania 31. I was really hoping that match would have happened since Rusev was undefeated, and yep. you know Undertaker was streak was already broken. But I think that would have been a very cool WrestleMania match to see. But, uh, so we got Bray Wyatt against the Undertaker. We got Rusev against John Cena. So yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. I mean, you know, anytime you face the Undertaker, it's always a honor. You know. So yep. anyway, uh, so for the predictions for this casket match, Willie, who do you got? I got the Undertaker. It's pretty obvious he's gonna win. Rusev's gonna yeah. put up a good fight, but in the end, you are going to be quote unquote buried. Don't take that literally, folks. Okay. Mhm. Gosh. <laughs> Jesse, what about you? Undertaker's winning. Uh, Undertaker. Undertaker, yeah. Uh, same for me, Undertaker. Um, I'm really kind of hoping it won't turn into a two-minute match. At least, hopefully at least like five minutes or so. Hopefully Rusev gets a good amount of moves in there. But I don't know, we'll just kind of see. But I got the Undertaker winning. Yep. Alrighty. Then on to the next match, uh, definitely a match we've seen before. We got John Cena taking on Triple H. Yay. Why? Why is this match happening? Apparently this is being billed as a grudge match, folks. 
I don't care. To be okay. All right, so um, John Cena versus Triple H once again for I don't know how many times, but Willie, what are your thoughts on this match? Don't care, to be honest with you. I love John Cena and Triple H, but uh, this is really just a... To put this in perspective, guys, this is really just a humongous house show. I mean, this is really a pointless match that they're putting together just to, you know, get fans wild up. And I'm not looking forward to it at all. As I said, I love John Cena and Triple H, but I'm not looking forward to this match. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, what about you? Uh, I mean, under. I might not. John Cena and Triple H. Undertaker. they have good matches, but, like, I just, I don't see why they're going to be wrestling each other. Like, there's no build-up or anything. They haven't, any even interact- they haven't even interacted, interacted with each other on TV. We haven't seen John Cena since WrestleMania 32, 34. 32, what the heck? <laughs> 34. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I guess this match is just for the fans for, I guess, being the first time in Saudi Arabia. But, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously these guys aren't in their primes anymore. But still, they could put on a good match. I mean, age is yeah. just a number. Um, not really going to be too excited for this matchup. Because, I mean, we kind of already see this match. A whole bunch of times, especially that there's no storyline to this. So, I mean, honestly, I don't really care who wins. But, anyway, hopefully it's a good match. But, anyway, uh, Willie, who do you got for this match between Cena and Triple H? John Cena. So obvious. Awesome. Uh, Cena. Kelsey. Cena, yeah. Cena Nation. Yeah. Moving on. Alright, so all three of us picked John Cena. I mean, of course, he's still the face that runs the place. Yeah. But anyway, uh, alright, so now, moving on. Moving on to the good stuff. We are getting into the next title match, and it is for the United States Championship, as we got Don't Hinder the Gender, Jinder Mahal taking on. Brother Nero, the United States champion, Jeff Hardy. Okay, I took it too far. But anyway, Jinder Mahal versus Jeff Hardy for the United States title. Yeah. Uh, definitely, I think it can be another good match. I think the Raw match that they had for the Superstar Shakeup was pretty good. Um, Willie, what are your thoughts on this U.S. title match? Well, um, I'm actually excited for this. It's Jeff Hardy for one. And I'm very surprised he actually won the United States championship. Yeah. That was the shocker opening for Raw last week. It was pretty cool. Yeah, and, I thought it was yeah. pretty cool. And then coming out on SmackDown, on Smackdown Live. Smackdown Live this past week. Yes. And uh, yeah, and now he's gonna go in and fight Jinder Mahal. Yes, and yeah. also, also congratulations to Jeff Hardy on becoming Grand Slam champion after winning the U.S. Yes. title. Now he is Grand officially Slam Grand Slam champion. Now we got to get Matt. <laughs> All right, uh, Kelsey, what are your thoughts on this match? I'm excited for this match. I love Ginger and Jeff. I feel like they'll have another good match like they did on Monday. And yeah, yeah I feel. I just. I hope it's. I hope they get some time, and you know, I hope it's good. Yeah. I hope they tear the house down. Yeah. Well, Jeff is gender isn't so. You know, um, honestly, I gotta say. Um, the United States title has changed three, four times now. Because it was first Bobby Roode, then Randy Orton, Randy Orton, then Mahal. Mahal only kept it for like a week. And then he lost it. Hilarious. So, I mean, really honestly, we need uh, a good run from Jeff Hardy for the U.S. title. Which I think he'll do. So, I'm kind of excited that Jeff Hardy's finally getting his own singles run. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, but I definitely think this could be another very good match. I mean, I I loved it on Raw, so I definitely think the same will happen for Reddish Royal Rumble. So, uh, moving on to our predictions for this matchup. Willie, who do you got in this match? Jeffrey Nero Hardy will retain the United States Championship. <laughs> Chelsea. I'm going with Jeff because I, I love gender and... You know, he deserved a longer reign, but uh, but Jeff, Jeff, needs to, Jeff needs to keep it. Absolutely. All right, so my prediction for this match, uh, I guess I probably have to go with, uh, let's see, uh, Jeff Hardy. 
Jeff Hardy to retain. Jeff <laughs> Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Nero Hardy. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Then, uh, oh, this is going to be another good match. And it is a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. So, we got Samoa Joe now added to this match. The Miz. Finn Balor. And yeah. Seth Rollins. And, of course, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Heel Balor, Willie, is a big Finn Balor fan. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Dang right. All righty. So, uh, I I think this is pretty cool. Fight a four-way uh, for, and a ladder match, too, for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, so, Willie, what are your thoughts going into this, uh, for this Intercontinental Championship match? Uh, it's going to be a pretty good match. Um, these guys I know can work very well in the ring and I think they're all very familiar with each other mm-hmm. and um, I think it's going to be a good match you know it's pretty predictable but yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to this match most definitely Kelsey what about you I'm so excited I can't wait they're all going to like destroy each other they're going to freaking tear the house down I can't yep. wait I, uh, I love ladder matches I, I love yep because, you know, I hope somebody does a crazy spot off the top. Yeah. Of the ladder, mm-hmm. like... <laughs> Give me a coup de grace. Yeah. I was about to say that! <laughs> a coup de grace to curb stomp into the ladder. Okay, that would be very dangerous, oh, but... Oh, God. Seth Rollins with a frog Seth splash. On the top of the freaking... <laughs> on top of the freaking ladder, and he's curb stomp. So what did he kill him? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to see anyone be, die, guys. That'd be crazy. Yeah. No, we can't have that. Uh... I think this match is going to be really awesome. Um, so hopefully they, hopefully all four of these men get really good spots and hopefully some spots with the ladder, uh, which no doubt all four of these guys are obviously very talented and I think all of them have good chemistry. So definitely um, uh, I'm very happy that Samoa Joe's added to this matchup. So definitely well-deserved. Uh, so going into the predictions now, Willie, who do you got? Well, it's you go all know who I want to win, but it's not happening. Finn Balor, but I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins. It, they just gave him the title. Mm-hmm. And I think continuing forward, they're gonna move um, with that feud with Balor and Rollins for the IC title. The Miz is on SmackDown, so it's Samoa Joe. Yeah, there you go. Rollins is winning. Kelsey, what about you? Yeah, I think Seth's retaining. Uh huh. I could see, I could see him retaining. I can sense it. Yeah, I mean they just. He won the belt at Mania 34, so there's really no need for him to drop it. So, Seth Rollins, I think, will retain in a very good match. Of course, the triple threat match at WrestleMania 34 was very good. So, no doubt this will be very good. So, I'm going with the man, Seth freaking Rollins, to retain. All right. Then, uh, all right. So, now moving on to the next match. Uh, we got... The WWE Championship on the line once again. Shinsuke Nakamura, a.k.a. Mr. Hit Him in the Balls, taking on the WWE Champion, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. So, Willie, what are your thoughts on this WWE title match once again? Okay, before I get into that, their WWE title match at WrestleMania sucked. Just when we thought it was going to be five stars. Do we get it? No, we don't. No, we got five stars, ladies and gentlemen. Seriously, that match was terrible. I will expected they better. The this week, will they live it to the height this week? Probably. I hope so. Probably they so. Better. Just watch it. Just watch it be better. <laughs> yeah, they better live up to the hype. But uh, it's all. all no, okay, here's the thing. All Nakamura's been doing is just hitting AJ in the balls. Legit. Yeah. Insane. Every time. It's saying it's it's so weird. And it's starting to get very very just cringe now. Like. And if I see it tonight on SmackDown Live, definitely you have something to say. Legit. <laughs> and it was the heel and all, but good lord. There's only so many times AJ's balls can take a hit. Good lord. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Let's hope he's wearing a cup. At least. Knee to face. Gosh. No speak English. <laughs> no speaking English. All right, everybody start speaking in Japanese if you know it. Nobody knows Japanese. Know. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can eat you, but I don't know. I don't know if that's even Japanese. But anyway. Anyways. Uh, all right. Uh, Kelsey, what are your thoughts? Um, I hope it 
it's a good match. I mean, their build up has kind of been lackluster. Like, like, yeah, like Willie said, their WrestleMania match sucked. I just hope this match is better because they, I don't know, I just. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that Backlash is next Sunday. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So probably get rematched there. Yep. Um. Well, if you probably would have told me that Nakamura was losing at WrestleMania, I probably would have told you that you were crazy. But uh, yeah, like Oscar, which, I, which... everyone, what everyone expected at Mania was at least a five star match. I mean, that's the least expected. But we don't get that. No, we didn't. So I don't know. Maybe just WrestleMania this year. Go ahead, everyone. I was gonna say something. Uh, Go ahead. Sorry. Um... It's cool. Cool. I. I honestly get this weird feeling that this matchup will be a lot better this time than the one at WrestleMania 34. I don't know. I just had this weird feeling that that's going to happen. Mm. What were we going to say, Willie? I was going to say, <clears throat> this year's WrestleMania was a big, big middle finger to the people who look up on the internet and start typing stuff in for spoilers and all that kind of stuff, reading the dirt sheets. This was a big swerve this year for WrestleMania 34. Why think about it. People wanted Oscar to win. She lost. Yep. You wanted AJ Styles to excuse me. You wanted Shinsuke Nakamura to win. He lost. You wanted Roman Reigns to win. He lost. Uh huh. You know. Think about it. That just goes to show you, wrestling fans know nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and you're hearing that from people who are just be- legit marks. Just because you read it on the internet doesn't always mean that it's, it's true. Be true. But. Anyway, exactly. so. Uh, um, Anyways. Okay, so. Uh, I guess going on to the predictions now for this matchup for the second time. Uh, yeah. Willie, who do you got in this matchup? It's pretty obvious Styles is retaining. Um, uh, I, I, gosh, I really just don't care about this match, to be honest with you. I mean, it's probably because of the WrestleMania match. It was just not, not living up to the hype to me. But, uh, I think this should be good, but I'm going to go with, uh, AJ Styles to retain. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, what's your pick? AJ. AJ's going to retain. Alright. Um, yeah, same here. Um, I honestly don't know if they're going to have another match at Backlash since that's coming up, like, the next week. So, maybe they might save a Nakamura win for Backlash, I don't know, but I think AJ Styles is going to get the best of Nakamura once again, so I'm going to go with AJ Styles to retain the WWE Championship. So hopefully it turns out better than it did at Mania 34. That's all I'm hoping for. They need to expand their pay-per-views. Like, like two weeks ago, we're watching WrestleMania, and now we're watching Greatest Royal Rumble. Then next week, we're watching Backlash. Yeah. Expand your pay-per-view schedules, please. Yeah, like... Like, did anybody really see or... Greatest Royal Rumble coming, like, like, I mean, so I'm just gonna bring this out before we go on to the next match, ladies and gentlemen, if you watched Monday Night Raw, I don't know how many times they advertised the Greatest Royal Rumble, I don't know, like, how many times, there's a bunch of times, but even during the main event of Raw, the women's, women's, uh, 10 woman tag match, the main event of Raw, they advertised that too, when there was no women main eventing, or, no women on this card, like, I don't know what it is with I mean, WWE advertising Grace for a Rumble so much, but... I don't get it. Like, like, it's a humongous house show. And by the way, can we talk about that stage with the Grace for a Rumble? Like, that thing is sick. Yeah. But they're going all out for that this That's year. That's true. Uh, definitely, I really do like the stage, so I can't wait to see what it fully looks like when picks are revealed. But anyway, going on to the next matchup. It is a steel cage match. For the Universal title, as we got the big dog Roman Reigns once again taking on the Beast Incarnate, the Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar. So, uh, Willie, what are your thoughts on this match? Oh my gosh, so, oh my, this match, I swear, like, if Reigns doesn't walk out champion, I'm just going to probably just end up watching Impact Wrestling, you know? <laughs> Impact has been doing pretty good. Yeah, but, that, uh, that pay was actually pretty good. Redemption, I think. I consider watching it, seriously. But, um... Yeah, man. Lesnar, I swear. Like, oh, you've been holding that belt since Mania 33. Yeah. Time to drop it. And you keep paying him. 
and paying him and paying him. A whole and year and a half. Like, that's crazy. He yeah. needs to lose. But that, that belt's only been around for like almost a, a year. Yeah, almost like a year and a half. The, the, well, not really a year the, and a half. The but. amount of time he's held that title has barely even been defended. And the men you have beaten to keep that title. Joe, Strowman, Reigns. You beaten. He him. fucking beat Goldberg to win the belt. Goldberg. Thing. Yeah. Goldberg. Like seriously, why? <laughs> you don't need that belt anymore, Brock. Go away, please. Go back and to don't UFC. Get me, and don't get me started on last night's promo with Paul Heyman. I swear that was <laughs> so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Paul is getting on my nerves. Paul, Paul Heyman, Heyman gloats. Like. I I honestly Lester. like I love. <laughs> I love Paul Heyman, but my God, sometimes I just feel like it's kind of the same repetitive stuff over and over again. And Brock he just repeats the same him. shit every time he goes out there. I'm like, shut up. Yeah. Oh, please. My name is Paul Heyman, and we, we know who you are, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and I am the advocate for the reigning, defending. Wait, defending? Do you really defend it? Do you really defend it? <laughs> You need to ask yourself that, Paul. I mean, you need to really ask yourself. Yeah, you need to ask yourself. Does your client you defend the title? That... You need to quit paying Brock, seriously. Yeah. Gosh. Go back to UFC, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, you retain that title, I swear. I swear yeah, so, I mean, honestly, I mean, if Roman Reigns doesn't win this match, then who the heck is going to take the belt off of? Bobby Lashley. Probably Bobby so. Who do you think is going to take off of him? They're probably going to give it to Bobby Lashley for all we know. Oh, so. God. That's another dream match people want to see. So I mean, I would, I wouldn't yeah. mind that. But that's I mean, we need, we need a full time, we need a full time Universal Champion. Despite what anybody thinks about Roman Reigns, we need the Universal Title on yes, Raw every Roman week. Reigns. That's yes, what we need. I'm not gonna be screaming at my TV and you know, doing weird stick. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, prediction time for this matchup, and it's going to be in a still cage, by the way, so uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, so, Willie, what is your prediction for the Universal title match? I'm kind of torn on this, to be honest. So, this whole agenda with Roman Reigns, you, you know why they had him lose at WrestleMania. But those who don't know, the reason they had him lose at WrestleMania is because he didn't get a good reaction. Vince is like, well, he's not going to get a reaction here. Why don't we just wait until we get into Saudi Arabia where most of the pe- freaking crowd are casuals and they actually like Roman Reigns, <laughs> you know? So we're going to say, we're put him in Saudi Arabia, have him beat Brock. There you go. Brock, Roman Reigns is winning. I, mm-hmm. hope, I, I, hope, I hope Roman wins. Yep. Lord help us. <laughs> All right. Uh... Seriously. Kelsey, what are your what's your prediction? I hope Roman wins, please, for the love of God. Can he please just win? If I hear Brock Lesnar's music hit at the Grand Slam Roman Reigns champion, I swear, like I'm gonna throw my TV. I swear. Yeah. Don't, don't, legit, don't, don't have Brock retain. Even the people, and the people who are listening to this podcast, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, they just they don't like Brock Lesnar. No, 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 no. We just don't like a money hungry grabbing part time champion. Not to mention, uh, before I forget, um, I believe the contract was released for this match at the Greatest Royal Rumble, but Brock Lesnar is getting paid six hundred twenty-seven something thousand dollars for this matchup. That alone, just for this that's match. More than John Cena. That's more yeah. Than John Cena. Get, I think that's more than John Cena gets paid. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That is just crazy. When we could be using that money for pyro, but yes, no. We should be getting pyro back. But I no. Think Power's making its return for the Grand Royal Rumble. It better yeah. be. It better yeah, be. It did for Mania, so hopefully it does for a Grand Royal Rumble. You need to quit paying Brock and get Pyro back, please. Yeah. It's weird seeing AJ Styles walk out and do that pose and you see Pyro effects. Yeah. You hear Pyro effects. It's so stupid. It definitely is. It's not the same. On, uh, but yeah, my prediction is Roman Reigns. I think he will finally take the belt off Brock Lesnar and then... Um, I guess if he doesn't, I don't know what... I don't really know what I'm going to do. Might just have to stop watching Raw then. <laughs> right. Yeah, so... I am even joking about that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my pick is Roman Reigns. So, Roman, you better win. All right, then, going on to the final matchup, and I believe which will be the main event, is the greatest Royal Rumble match, I guess, ever, is a 50-man Royal Rumble match. 
So, um, so many possibilities in this match. So, works. so far, I believe 21 of the 50 entrants have been announced. I so, been down for uh, hang on, let me find it. Yeah, obviously, Chris Jericho will be in there. Shane McMahon, yeah. I think. Shane McMahon's gonna be in there. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, Jane, back. Uh, is Daniel Bryan gonna be in it? Yeah, yeah, he'll be in there. Kurt Angle will be in there as well. Yep. And. Hey, Elias, what's up? <laughs> Elias is going to be in it. Let me, let, let me read down who's going to be in here. As you can hear, Kelsey's not the biggest fan of Elias, but me and Ryan are. Big Show's going to be in there. That's cool. Uh, big Show. Oh, God, Big Show. Who cares? Well, it's the Big Show. I, mean, I, respect, I respect Paul White, but come on, man. Time to retire, please. Wait, let me find it here. Where the heck is it? Oh, right, here we are. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let me clear my voice here. Daniel Bryan, Big Show, Braun Strowman, Kurt Angle, Apollo Crews, Titus O'Neil, Elias, Gold Dust, Mojo Rowley, Dolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, Chad Gable, Biggie, Kofi, Xavier, Shelton, Sin Cara, Chris Jericho, Bobby Hayden, <laughs> Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Shane McMahon. So Sin Cara! <laughs> why is, why is Sin Bacha in here? Why is our jobber in there? <laughs> why the heck is Gold Dust in here? Why is Gold Dust so employed? I'm sorry, but. <laughs> I thought you. I thought at first you said Goldberg. I was like, huh? That's Goldberg. Random. No, no, not Goldberg. He wouldn't be able to last long. <laughs> Anyways, um, predictions. Oh my word! I I really don't know. I mean, you could. I don't, I don't know who could you give it to. I mean, my pick would be Braun Strowman. That's why I'm picking yeah. Braun Strowman to win the rumble. Yeah. Oh, oh keep in mind, folks. The winner's not getting a shot at SummerSlam or like a championship shot of any type. Oh, let's no, 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 get no, no, a trophy. No. You're getting a trophy. So this match is pretty much pointless. Pretty much. So basically, uh, this is kind of like, I don't know if you call it Greatest Royal Rumble. I guess you could probably call it the greatest battle royal ever. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is. Pretty much. Because, I mean, if you're not getting a title shot or anything, you're... I don't know why you call this great, greatest Royal Rumble match of all time. I don't know. Just, just call. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Braun too because I feel like he might win. Yeah, that's my pick too. Um, I think Braun Strowman's gonna dominate. I think he deserves it. Um, some odd reason. Uh, it was between. It was really between Braun Strowman and Daniel Bryan, but I have this kind of feeling that Daniel Bryan's gonna win the Royal Rumble next year. So that's kind of why I'm going with Braun Strowman. So I think Braun Strowman to win next year. 2019 a baseball stadium. Good lord. Yeah. Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, yeah, I guess WWE's starting to do try to do more pay per views and sports arenas. Baseball stadiums. Yeah. Which could be great. Yeah. That that place is huge. Legit. Yeah. There's also a freaking hot tub there. Like, what stadium has a hot tub? That is so cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, home of the Diamondbacks. So, awesome. so obviously that's a very good, very good thing about uh, the Diamondbacks field. So. Uh, so yeah, for my prediction, I'm gonna go with Braun Strowman to win the 50 man Royal Rumble match. Well, I'll probably get some surprises here and there. Like I could probably see, I don't know, uh, who could we see in the Rumble this year? Or this uh, year? I saw someone say Rey Mysterio, but I don't know. I saw someone say Great Khali, and I'm like, oh god. I don't know. No, Great Khali, give me a break. Seriously, oh wait, hang on. I I know. I know. We're gonna see Nicholas. We're gonna see Nicholas. Yeah, we're gonna see Nicholas. Mark my words. Mark my words. We're gonna see Nicholas. Legend He's gonna eliminate Braun Strowman. Yeah. <laughs> Legend Nicholas. We're gonna see. We're gonna see Nicholas win. And then he'll call out the winner of the steel cage match between Roman Reigns and Brock, and he'll challenge him at SummerSlam. Yeah. Yeah. Versus title match. Nicholas versus yeah, Braun yeah. Strowman. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, so I believe that's all the matches. I think we got every match. So, Can yes. Take a little bit more on here. We that is the... Like an hour. We ain't doing that, though. Yeah. <laughs> that is we the that for... greatest Royal Rumble for you. So, pretty much almost like a WrestleMania number two. This is really a but... WrestleMania-ish house show. Yeah. Like, Seriously. basically, WrestleMania 34 was the big pre-show for the greatest Royal Rumble. <laughs> Pretty yep. much. <laughs> kind of almost, because we're kind of almost seeing some of the same matches, especially with AJ and Nakamura, Lesnar and Reigns. So, yeah. But hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. So, the 
start time, I believe, is 12 o'clock Eastern time. So that'll be 11 for me in the central time zone. So, um, yeah. which I'll kind of miss some of the action, but I'll, I get off at one, so I'll be able to watch a little bit more of it. So who knows how long this is going to be. Fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, the Losers Lounge, where most of us are actually in the same time zone, because Christian is in Canada. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, because three of us are from Texas, and then Willie, you're from Alabama. And then Too Christian sweet. is from Toronto. Well, our thoughts and prayers go out to the people in Toronto from that yes. terrible tragedy that happened. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's so crazy to hear about that. It's, uh, it's so That's sad. So screwed up, I swear. Um, and the people who had that little the shooting that happened at um, the Waffle House. Yeah. They got that goon. Yeah, it's so crazy to see what what's on the news these days. It's very crazy. <laughs> That's why I hate watching the news. Yeah. So many Same. casualties and tragedies Same. happening. Yeah. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, but before we go, um, we just want to say thank you to everyone who listened for this podcast. Uh, I know it kind of wasn't the same without Christian and, of course, Connor, of course, uh, all five of us. But uh, we thank you so much. And hopefully, I believe next week, uh, we should have Backlash, Backlash Predictions. And we should have the whole crew here. So uh, definitely we'll be looking forward to that. And uh, hopefully uh, we get that sometime next week. But anyway, we thank you guys so much, so much for listening. Follow us on, so. so, follow us on, us on social media, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Heel Balor, Instagram Heel Balor Twenty One. Definitely YouTube. go check me out, Ryan. So, uh, yeah, rise to Ryan. Uh, also rise to Ryan on Twitter. Uh, I'll have all my links. I'll have Willie and of course Kelsey's Twitter accounts in the description down below or Christian's yes. uh, channel. Uh, but anyway, if you want to follow us, follow the Losers Lounge on Twitter and our YouTube channels. You're more than welcome to do that. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Willie, do you have any last words for these wonderful people? Uh, man, not really. Um, just hope y'all enjoyed hearing threesome of us. Not trying to make a joke out of that, but, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> for real, if, no, if any little kids are on this podcast listening to this and don't know what threesome is, do not look it up. Just yeah. don't. Don't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, um, Christian, Connor, sorry you guys couldn't make it for make it. We understand your situations right now. We do our best. If you're listening to us, we love you. And we will see each other again next week for Backlash. Anyways, dudes, I'm Heel Balor. Kelsey, any last words? I'm Kelsey. And y'all should follow me on Twitter. We're just going to dish our... We're just going to plug our (laughs) social media in here. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Your your boy's almost 800 subs, so yeah, go subscribe if you want to. Definitely. (laughs) Definitely subscribe yeah. to my man Willie. Oh yeah, great content, baby. Definitely. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you guys so much for listening to our greatest Royal Rumble predictions. We appreciate it a lot. And until the next Losers Lounge podcast that we do, we thank you guys so much. Two sweetest. Yep, two sweetest always. And we will see you guys next time. Take care.